I hope you Thank have recovered you. from the vicious assault. That, uh, Thank you, you Honorable Speaker. Um, I have recovered and I am doing much better. Honorable Speaker, percent, I rise percent to standing order 431 and I wish to make a general statement regarding the constant delay in the disbursement of National Government Affirmative Action Fund. Honorable Speaker, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund was established with the objective of empowering women, youth, and persons with disabilities through financial support for various projects and initiatives at the county level. The National Government Affirmative Action Fund plays a crucial role in enabling beneficiaries to start or expand their businesses and improve their overall socioeconomic well-being. However, NGAF has faced limitations in terms of funding which hampers its ability to effectively implement its programs and reach its intended beneficiaries, raising concerns and frustrations to the beneficiaries who eagerly wait for the funds. Honorable Speaker, whereas the National Government Constituency Development Fund has a platform of follow-up on its matters through the Select Committee on the National Government Constituencies Development Fund, NGCDF, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund undergoes challenges due to the lack of a follow-up mechanism on its matters as it is not domiciled under a specific committee. Honorable Speaker, while appreciating the efforts of the Deputy Speaker on her follow-up on matters of the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, there is need for establishment of a committee to specifically and formally handle matters regarding that. Honorable Speaker, it is on that basis I request you understanding order one to allow for establishment of a committee to follow up on disbursement of NGAF and any other matters relating to it. Honorable Speaker, I thank you. In the same breath, Honorable Speaker, allow me to thank you, the Majority Leader, the Minority Leader of this House, the Deputy Majority Whip, and the many members of Parliament who supported me after my brutal attack while on duty in Kenya County, Honorable Speaker and in particular Honorable Bodonia who brought the matter on the floor of this house. I would also want to thank the people of Kirinyaga County for their prayers and their support. I seek your indulgence, Honorable Speaker, to have the committee on administration to handle this matter conclusively. Honorable Speaker, as I speak, no culprit has been apprehended, Honorable Speaker. To my political tormentor, Governor Anne Maiguru, you may think of me Order. as an easy target. Order, Anjeri. I allowed you to make a statement about NGAF. Honorable Speaker, now, I just sought to bring them. You, if you want to make a personal statement, order, honorable members, the conversations are too loud. If you want to make, sit down, uh, Jerry. If you want to make a personal statement in the manner that you now digressed to, you seek the chair's approval, and I have no problem with that. You remember I even came to see you in hospital. So if you want to make a statement about the attack on you, focus on that. But you cannot use your statement on GAF 